I took the liberty of editing my ball a little bit. It was a little bit too big and the transparency was okay. I just wanted it a little bit smaller. Now I placed it higher because I want the ball to slowly fall to the left or to the right or f down and I want uh, it to bounce off the balls and everything. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's double click ball and then the first thing, just go ahead and add a bunch of collisions. We did this before with the bar hitting the wall. Right click, add event, collision with brick. Right click, add event, collision with bar. Right click, add event, collision with brick. And we want to use the bounce key. Um, drag that in there precisely, all objects. And I'm going to copy and paste that in there. I like to do things with copy and paste makes it a little bit quicker and so there we have it the ball will successfully bounce off these things I don't even need to check it and now I want the ball to interact with the bricks so that when it hits the brick it'll change into the animation first let's work on the animation let's double left click brick animation and then right click add event and we want other this time and what we want it to do scroll down is that animation end okay so at the end of a bri and a bricks animation we want it to main one destroy instance of self so at the end of this animation it will be destroyed hit OK that's all you need for that go ahead and save if you haven't so how do we tell when the animation is supposed to play because right now the animation is not on here. Brick 1 is. So double left click Brick 1. Um, there are two ways to do this. You can add this event as a collision under Brick 1. Uh, or you can add as a collision under Ball. But I like to make it out of the object that's going to change. So under Brick 1, right click Add Event. And Collision. Now when the ball collides with the Brick 1, we're going to go into Main create instance now you can either do this by creating an instance or you can even do this by changing the instance but I want to change the instance in this case relative uh, this means that when the object is changed it'll be it'll change exactly where the object is if you didn't click this the object would change in the top left corner off the screen you wouldn't even see it happen so relative of where the object is and we want to change it into brick Annie animation so this means when the ball hits brick one the animation is created over the top of the other one that shows the animation now the ball is still going to be there so we need to destroy that so destroy instance of self so the instance will be destroyed and a new one will be created now let's see what happens We forgot to give the ball a starting speed. Double click the ball. We got all the bouncing done. Um, add a new event called create. And this time when the ball is created, we want it to move. Let's go ahead and drag this move in there. And randomly, you can have it go any direction, but let's just, I'm going to randomly have it go down. And actually, I'm going to have it go up. And I want it to go with a speed of 8. Let's see what happens. As you notice, it'll stay at the correct speed. When it hits our, our breakout piece, it, it hits the brick and it changed the animation and it dissolves. Congratulations if you got this far.